beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Plant Slots Books. Before we get started with today's video, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure your notification bell is turned on. That way you're notified each and every single time your girl posts a video. Just in case anyone is wondering why you got your jacket on, girl, where you going? I gotta go to the store, y'all, because I want to grow my my bird nest in Ethereum. I want to try potting that up into some ponds. I'm going to go ahead and go and get the materials that I need. I'm going to just make my own because I don't want to order it and have to wait. I'm very impatient. So we are going to go on a little trip to Ace Hardware Store because I know for a fact that they have the lava rock. I'm not sure if they have the zeolite rocks that I need. I know that PetSmart for sure has a zeolite. So if Ace Hardware hardware store doesn't have it then i'll go to PetSmart to grab the zeolite rocks and then i possibly i may not need to go to target but i also want to find a clear container that way i can pay attention to what's going on with the roots made it to the ace hardware store i just parked i just need to get out and walk but i just figured let me just announce that i don't know why i felt i needed to announce that i could have just popped up at the store but we here y'all so let's go ahead and walk a little bit down the street and around the corner and then we'll be there hardware store so i didn't really record much um, i did show you guys a few plants but the plants was pretty trashy too i did end up getting oh i found some super thrive in it i didn't know that they sold that in the store this is my first time ever seeing super thrive in the store so i did get some more super thrive and then i got two other types of fertilizers i will show you guys this trip went from three stores to four stores because the first store didn't have it so now i'm, I'm gonna go exactly where i know they have it for sure and that's back where i used to live let's go there let me update y'all on what's going on. I just came from... Okay, no. Before I just came... All right, I... My, the, 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 the last stop that I made was the nursery to go and grab the lava rocks. They did have that, so I did get that. I did want to check to see if they had pumice because I know pumice is a... How do I say it? Pumice is much bigger than fur light. Fur light is like very fine, very small little pieces, but pumice is a little bit bigger. So I was trying to find pumice versus using perlite. However, I could not find pumice and I'm not going to stress myself out. So I am just going to use the perlite instead. So in the last clip, I told you guys that I was just going to use perlite in replace of the pumice. However, I really, really want to use pumice. So I did order it off Amazon and it will be here on Thursdays in two more days. So I would just do the first half of this video and then I'll come back of course on Thursday to complete the second half but so far I have the lava rock I have the zeolite crystals and that's all I have so I am waiting on the pumice as far as extras what I got from Ace Hardware Store is I have these fertilizer spikes I don't know how well they work. I just wanted to try it. But if you guys have tried it, let me know down in the comment section below. Does it work for you? And of course, I also got some Super Thrive. And then, I have no idea what this is. I have, I mean, I know it's fertilizer. It's for the growth of plants. But I have never seen this before. And I was just curious to try it. I will see you guys on Thursday. Here's everything that we are going to be using, but first these are the three plants that we will be switching over to pond. I'm going to switch over my Philodendrian Melon Crescent. I'm going to also switch over my Philodendrian Glorious and my Philodendrian Silver Sword. So all Philodendrians. To make the pond, you're going to need some red lava rocks, 
some zeolite crystals. I got this from Petco. This is from Ace Hardware Store. And then some pumice, which I ordered off of Amazon. And I know they say that the ponds, all the mixture together should be good as far as fertilization for up to six months. But I did go ahead and get this organic fertilizer. I never tried this, so I wanted to try this and see how this does. This is everything that we will be using for the video. Let's go ahead and get started with our mixture. You're gonna need four parts pumice, two parts lava rock, and one part of zeolite. Now, I don't really know exactly how much that is, so I just know that I need more pumice than anything, and I need more lava rock than I do more zeolite. So zeolite, we're not gonna put as much. Okay, so that's how we're gonna measure that. I know they say you could use perlite as well, but I don't think perlite would be the same because this is like rock. Why did I smell it? Pre-washed and pre-sifted prior to bag, so I shouldn't have to wash it. We're gonna pour this in here. We're gonna use that much pumice. And then we're gonna do two parts of lava rock. And then we are going to add one part of the zeolite crystals. Helps reduce toxic ammonia in aquariums. All right, you guys, while we're in the process of making this, let's talk about the benefits of this pond mixture. First benefit is that it blocks the fungi that attacks the roots. So you guys, as far as like bacteria and fungi and all that stuff, this will help reduce that problem. Another thing that it is good for is if you suffer with allergies, this is good for people that suffer with allergies now. I didn't get too in depth as far as how it's good for people that has allergies because I have really bad allergies. So I should actually look into that a little bit more. Also, it prevents gnats. And you guys know how, ooh, oh my gosh, I almost spilled that whole thing. You guys know how I feel about gnats, so when I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm definitely willing to give it a try now. But it's supposed to help with faster growth for your plants as far as developing leaves and a healthy root system and all of that stuff. Those are a few of the great benefits that Pond has to offer, and I'm honestly just excited to see how well the plants do. Give this a mix. This looks so weird because I'm just used to soil and then also this like pumice is throwing me off. I googled it. This is what pumice looks like according to Google child. This is what the mixture is looking like. Do I need more pumice? What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that and I'm going to start with the first plant and then if I need more of anything, I will add to it as I go. Now as far as what I'm going to be planting it in my Philodendron Glorious, the smaller plant, I would either put it in this or I would leave it in what it is in. It depends. Everything depends on what the roots look like. Philodendron Silver Sword, I'm thinking I'm going to use this one for that. And then the Melocrinsum, I'm thinking this fish looking type of bowl for this, for that one. So because we are switching this over to pond, we are going to have to remove all the soil. So that means, of course, taking it out of this pot and rinsing off the roots to get as much of the soil off as possible. So we're going to start with this baby right here. The soil is pretty moist because she is... A plant that stays in the green home. This could be either really messy or really easy. Let's see how it goes. Also, by the way, today is Christmas as I am filming this. So Merry Christmas to all you beautiful people out there. Squeeze on the sides of the container. Y'all know how to do this. Y'all is professionals. All right. Everything is pretty wet. So I really want to get it out of here. Since it's already pretty wet, I am not going to use any water to rinse it off. I'm just going to do it with my hand. Look at this tiny little baby root system. <laughs> so hopefully with the pond, we can get those roots to grow out much more. So we're going to sit that to the side. At first, that philodendron glorious was in this pot, as you guys are aware, but I'm going to move it to this pot. So this pot is a bit wider than this one, and this one is a bit more snuggled. It is a little taller, but like I said, it's a bit more snuggled, so hopefully that can also help out with getting the roots to grow better. Add some of the pond, put the plant, and then add some more pond, just as you would do if you were using regular soil. Let me know also down in the comment section below 
If you guys do use Pond, do you see any different benefits? Do you find it to be better than soil? Do you find it to be the same? Do you find it to be worse? Do you find it not to really do any other things that it's supposedly supposed to do? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get this plant in here. Add some at the bottom. And take that plant, put it in there, and then fill it up. And I am using a pot that doesn't have any drainage holes because this is supposed to be really good for airflow as well. So I'm hoping that won't bother it. And look how easy. <laughs> that was very easy. I might actually really like this better than soil. That was so easy. It wasn't messy. Look at that baby. She is in there. I can't wait to see how she does. I am going to add in a reservoir of water at the bottom once I'm done, but she is all in there. I really love how this looks. That is so cute. This is the reason why I'm doing this for this silver sword because I lost all of my leaves and I'm just trying to do the best I can to get this baby to be happy and healthy. Remove all the soil. This plant is pretty dry as always. Oh, it's not that dry. Let's see what these roots are talking about, y'all. Just make sure you get all that soil off as much as you possibly can. Okay, the roots aren't horrible. I got her rinsed off as good as possible. I'm going to set her to the side and we're just going to do the other plant. This is the plant that I got. Look, in this mold organic. So I'm glad I'm doing this to get rid of all this nasty mold that keeps coming on here. That little cinnamon trick didn't really seem to work this time, or I didn't let it, what's the name of that? But we're just gonna get this out of here. What's going on here? Just trying to get the rocky stuff out so when I rinse it, it doesn't go down the drain. Definitely has a nice root system going on. Let's get it rinsed off. On to the next one. I think I'm actually going to put this bad boy into this one instead of this one because the roots are much longer, bigger than I thought. this is turning out oh my gosh this is the cutest thing ever let me just tell you guys how idiotic I am <laughs> I was in the process of taking the footage off my memory card and putting it onto my computer and the whole point of this video was supposed to be about the bird's nest anthurium and I didn't even actually end up doing that plant this plant has been living in moss ever since tone sent it to me i've been meaning to take it out but i just haven't gotten around to it and when i saw that i already had a folder for this particular video and i was like wait i didn't even do that video i mean that plant it's like going to the store for one thing and then getting everything else but that one thing that you went to the store for that's basically what just happened to me now the good thing about pawn that i've learned so far is that it's much quicker and it's not a messy process you can literally plant a plant in pawn in like two seconds fungus nests are coming out and I'm going to pop this plant up into the pot that the Glorious was once in. And it should be nice and snuggled in there. And there you have it. She is now all potted into pond. And see the roots. This is the last one, the philodendron silver sword. Hopefully my baby will come back to life. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Maybe not. How freaking psychic is that?
here is the finished product oh my gosh i am so amazed with how well they turned out i'm just loving the look of it like this looks so much better so much nicer now you guys if i have success with this trust and believe some more plants will be going into this pond mixture but i am really glad that i did this and i can definitely see myself doing this a lot more with more of my plants they also say that monsteras do really well in this mixture as well so you guys will be seeing more of these type of videos I'm gonna smell like dirt and lemonade. <coughs> so I'm just gonna pour a little reservoir of water. Try not to be too, too much. I was not expecting them to be so freaking cute. I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated with how the growth is going on these babies. As you guys can see, this plant only has two leaves. The Glorious has three, and my Silver Sword only has two leaves as well. I will keep you guys updated on if I got any new leaf growth, what the roots are looking like, if they're declining, and all of that juicy stuff. This is my very first time using pond. I have no experience with this. I do not know how this is going to go. I just decided to take two of my plants that were struggling and one that is not struggling, but I thought could benefit very, very much from this and see how they would do in this mixture. If you guys like this video, let me know by hitting that like button, commenting down below if you guys use this substrate and if you guys find it helpful for your plants. Also make sure the notification bell is turned on that way you're notified each and every single time your girl posts the video. And with that being said, of course, of course, of course, I will see you beautiful people in my next video.